Welcome to Contact. This is the final lesson in our series. We've been talking about the character and nature of God. And uh, praise the Lord. I hope by now, if you've been watching the other broadcasts, that you realize um, how wonderful God is. That right. he, And He never changes. He's always loving. He's always merciful. He's always forgiving. And today we're going to be talking about God is, is a giver. A giver. And He's always giving. Yeah. yeah. That's what He loves to do. Yeah. Uh, he said, I want to bless you. Right. And that was His idea. Yeah. Not man's idea. Man thinks they come up with these ideas, but God is the originator right. of everything that's right. good in life. Here's a little test. Take a breath. <sighs> Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> he gave us breath he gave and it life to us. and yeah. everything. So he's a giver. Yeah. You wouldn't even take another breath if it wasn't for him. So we're going to be talking about our giving God. Stick with us. We'll be right back. It's time to wake up and go after the plan and purpose God has for you. Join Faith Landmarks Ministries this October 6th through 10th for a power-packed event. Camp Meeting 2021, Awake. Get inspired and awaken your spirit with speakers from across the nation. You will not want to miss a single meeting. Mark your calendars, set your vacation time, and come October 6th through 10th to Richmond, Virginia for this exciting five-day event. If you're looking for an extensive yet affordable Bible school education, then Faith Landmarks Bible Institute is for you. FLBI provides students with two years of comprehensive study. With our online program, you can learn anytime, anywhere. Register for our online Bible school today by visiting our website at flbi.org. Make the spiritual investment to grow in your knowledge of the kingdom here at Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. Hi, I'm Yasmin Chapard, lead teacher and administrator here at the Faith Landmarks Child Development Center. We provide care for children two months through four years of age. Our K2 through K4 classes are taught using the Abeka curriculum, while our infant and toddler classes are taught Spanish and sign language. Our teachers are amazing. They treat each child as their own. So what are you waiting for? Enroll your child today. Welcome back. Again, we're just really glad that you've joined us today on Contact and also to speak to the fact that this is a series. Now, we're, we're, you know, each one of the messages are complete in themselves, but uh, we are in a, in a series, and so they're all hooked together, too. So we're talking about the character and the nature of God. So God is a giver. Now, uh, he's, He is constantly giving. He ne never has stopped giving. And we should know him as a giver. He is the source of all things. Right. Well, we started out the series talking about God is, is love. Yeah. And, uh, and it, the scripture we read is God so loved the world that he gave. Gave his only begotten. So uh, there's the thing about him being a giver. Yeah. He is takes action. He, he did something about man's plight. Right. Because uh, we got ourselves into a mess. Right. But he immediately went into a plan of action. Right. To redeem man back to himself and to actually a higher place than what he had before in the Garden of Eden. Because right now, as we're born again and uh, Jesus is our Savior, we're actually seated with Christ in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Yeah, that, that is a, a step up. That's a step up, and it's, it's something to grow into. Right. And, and, the, and the awareness of, of right. it, everything, to, exactly. to fall back on it instead of trying to, you know, fight the warfare on this earth in your own strength. Just realize you fall back to this position of strength that you actually have been given. Yeah, well, that we already have. That we already have. We didn't earn it. And, yeah. That's it, giving. Yeah. He gave us giving. a throne. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a very good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
So, and he also gives, and I want to read this verse because he gives constantly and continuously to all of mankind. Uh, now, man has sort of a problem with acknowledging these things, okay? But uh, realization comes when, when you accept Jesus as your Savior, you get your mind renewed. Realization comes that everything that man receives actually comes from him, came from him, comes from him, and will come from him. There is no other source. Well, one scripture says every good and perfect thing comes yeah. from God, but God gets blamed for all the bad things that happen right. because they think, well, if everything comes from God, that means famines and earthquakes and, and uh, you know, floods. Right all come from God. Right. But that's not. No, it's not we're true. We're talking about God's character and his nature. So um, God's really, a giver. He's consistent. Yeah, he gives he's life. Good. Yeah. He gives life, not death. Right. You know, he creates. Right. Uh, so, you know, it's important to get it straight. Mm -hmm. It's important to get it straight. So uh, Jesus was talking. This is uh, in what we call the Sermon on the Mount. Is chapter 5 of Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 45. Jesus said, that they may be, talking about us, the children of your Father, which is in heaven. So th this is an action that we should be willing to take also to be like our Father. For he makes his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and he sends rain on the just and and on the unjust. Just previous to that, he was talking about blessing your enemies. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. Bless, bless them, them that curse you. Do, do good. good to them that hate you. Pray for and those pray. That, that despitefully use you and persecute you. So, um, wow, that that's yeah. not very common uh, practice today. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's it's putting God in the same light of ourselves being opposed to. Mm-hmm that he, he goes ahead and does it anyway. So literally, uh, in a practical sense, every bite of food that every human being, every, every living organism, everything, everything that everybody uh, receives, they receive from him because he's the source of all things. Right. Yeah. So he provides so, the rain. He so, provides. Yeah. Uh, so people say, well, what about famines? Well, poverty came into the earth when Adam and Eve made the mistake in the garden. It wasn't uh, God that did that. It was Adam that did that. And famines today are the same thing. Yeah, they, uh, and, you know, people man have to realize that they think God trouble. is in charge of all this. But really, um, and it's a long conversation yeah, to talk is, about the, the fact that, that God gave man the rulership of this earth. Right. And this is what has become of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You right. know, when you think about it, when you think about our nation founded on the gospel, the found, founding fathers, as they would say, mm -hmm. with Bible, with the Bible and mm -hmm. God we trust, uh -huh. you know, and how a, you just take a natural nation. Right. That th this was the founding purpose. Right. For people to be able to freely worship God. Right. And they would follow godly principles. So when you start to drift away from that principle, mm -hmm. from that focus, then we see the evidence of what comes as a result of man's rulership right. change, right. a mentality shift, a leadership shift. Then we begin to see the fruit of what that brings. And now we see that it's something you really have to pray for. You have to, that's why the, the Bible tells us to pray for our leaders, mm -hmm. those in positions of authority, yeah. because you like our well-being and peace, the Bible says that we would lead quiet and peaceable lives with yeah. all godliness and honesty so that um, that devil doesn't come in and have anarchy and take over and just run wickedness right. rampant throughout the land, people right. being treated unjustly. All of these things are right. as a result of man's. So we're talking about God as a giver. What we're trying to say is, is that 
the troubles that you see in the world is because of man's handling and his association with Satan of the earth's resources right. of people sickness and disease everything. all of these things are are as a result of Adam's failure in the Garden of Eden and uh, adopting association with a fallen angel named Lucifer so God made a promise to Abraham yeah. Yeah. that he wanted to bless him and his seed after him. Mm -hmm. And so God wants to change all of that. Right. But it has to come as a result of his kingdom. Right. When See, when his kingdom is established, and Je that's what Jesus told the disciples to pray, is pray like this. Yeah. Our Father in heaven, we worship your name. May your kingdom come and your will, your be, will done be done on earth. Yes, it and is. so that's our job. Right. That's be a believer's job, a person who is in a relationship with God. Which that's is another way of saying that God's will is not done on earth unless no. we pray and we act it out. So, so in other words, we're supposed to demonstrate the kingdom and the super, and then when we demonstrate, then God fa watches over His word to perform it and brings the peace and the quietness and assurance. But without it, you know, it's a covenant, it's a partnership. Right. And so man <laughs> is to be in partnership with God to bring God's will mm -hmm. into the earth. Yeah, and to help further uh, straightening out the question about God's name, there's a very good. Uh, passage in uh, James, we've been kind of alluding to it throughout this whole series, mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, James 1, 17, and he says, every good gift and every perfect gift comes down from above and it is from above and comes down from the Father of lights in whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So uh, just to throw in uh, a, a, an understanding of this, for instance, sickness and disease is in the earth because of the mistake that Adam made in the Garden of Eden and spiritual death manifests itself in, on, in every single person that's born uh, into the earth, and mm -hmm. then we have to be reborn to get out of it. Right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, to answer the question about something like m many of these people are involved in medical science, mm -hmm. and medical science gets its goodness from God. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, every good gift, and the every perfect gift comes mm -hmm. down from the Father of lights. Now, people don't always give, it's the same thing about him feeding every mouth on earth. People don't always give him the credit. Where, where did the inspiration of that come from? Where do you think you got that idea? Well, we were, we were having a conversation while we were coming here about aptitude. Right. And how that um, God gives everybody specific talents and gifts. And, and the, the you know, the sad thing is that a lot of people never really find their purpose, right. their gifts, their talents, what God has really given them and put them on the earth to do. Right. Just like Jesus when he appeared to Paul and said, I've, call, I've come to you for this purpose, for right. you to be a minister and a witness. Right to set people free, to open their eyes, to take them out of the kingdom of darkness, to bring them into the kingdom of God. And so <clears throat> there's a lot of people who are pursuing the wrong path right. because they don't realize that their real, the real uh, e explosion or excitement is going to be in the field of, that God has given them. Right. And to be able to recognize that, you know, yeah. schools just, you know, teach everybody on a mass scale where right. everybody and leave out the people that have. Education produces a product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's use. But the, some people get left out. Yeah. And some people get promoted. That's true. Uh, that don't even shouldn't be promoted to. Uh, uh, prove your point even further. Uh, let's use the Apostle Paul for an example. See, before he got saved, uh, he was a noted scholar. And as a matter of fact, you know, to, to this day, uh, educated people consider the Apostle Paul to be one of the most uh, intelligent and educated people that's ever walked on earth. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so he's like Aristotle and and those people. Yeah. Okay. Brainiac. Uh, <laughs> right. So so his uh, scholasticism was used uh, as as part of his calling. See, so God called him and sent him to the Gentiles, and it just so happened that he had this ability that mm -hmm. he had been working on all of his life, and, and he never stopped using it. You know, it, it's uh, there. So uh, that, that just uh, kind of proves the point. God takes the person the way they are when, when you come into the kingdom, and he uses the things that have already, and, and, and it's been said that all of the talents are the gifts of the Father. Right. Okay. So uh, whatever you're talented at, at, God is going to use that as a uh, tool in fulfilling your calling. Yeah, gifts of the Father and then the callings are gifts from Jesus. Right. You know, we're, we're members of his body. Yeah. And he and he, Jesus is the one who dispenses the gifts for the body for the things that he wants them to do. Yeah. And then the Holy Spirit empowers the gift that Jesus gives you with these special gifts that right. help you operate in the ministry that you've been called to. So it's like on all these different levels. God is giving. God is everything. giving. Yeah. Everything yeah. that has life, so, breath, and godliness right. comes from him. Right. So Paul uh, made a statement I thought was really good in Acts 20, verse 24. Okay. He talked about all these things that he'd done, his ministry, what had happened. He said, but none of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear to myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. Okay. And the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify right. the gospel of the grace of God. Right. So his calling made his, uh, this is just another point, his calling made his talents worthy of something. That he actually had something to yeah, do. Yeah, he didn't count all of his natural abilities. Yeah. The fact that he'd studied with the great, great... Uh, Minds of the day. And, and that he was fluent in many different languages. Mm -hmm. He was highly intelligent. Yeah. But, uh, and it achieved a certain amount of uh, prominence in society. Right. But yet all of that he threw aside yeah. because it was the ministry right. that I want to finish my course with joy, yeah. not with sadness. Yeah. By the way, he learned that characteristic from Jesus. That's right. Yeah. And so, but think about this, the gospel of the grace of God. So yeah. we're talking about God is a giver. Yeah. He's gracious. In the gospel is, is, is telling us about God's nature and character. Right. That he's, he dispenses grace. Right. And he, he gives man all these things. It's mm -hmm. like resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and when you need it, yeah. it's there. So then There's, what, what the, the word teaches us is to be like him. So believers should be givers too. Okay, so, uh, and that's not just giving money, you know, it's giving of yourself, it's, it's giving what you have, it's giving who you are, uh, we should be givers too. Right, so, so actually, Paul is, is actually, he knows he's getting ready to go face imprisonment. Right. And he's leaving people with... Uh, final words, instructions, trying to, and this is still in that same uh, Acts, chapter, Acts Act 20. 20, okay. Yeah. And he says, for, uh, take heed therefore to yourselves, to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he's purchased with his own blood. The body of Christ, the church of God was bought with the blood of Jesus. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Mm -hmm. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. So these people are gonna come in and, and, and pick out people and try to draw them as disciples to their own uh, program or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. so, agenda. Yeah. Agenda. So here, 
in verse 32, he says, okay. Now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. I commend you to the word of his grace. Yeah. So in other words, he's trying to tell people, you need to be reminded over and over again because people are opposing this. Right. They're trying to blame God. They're trying to get people in their camp, pull people away from the liberty that they have in Christ and get them on a cause that's a dead end track. Right. And so when wow, and nothing well, good comes out of that. Yeah, that's a big deal today. It's a big deal today. Yeah. And so innocent people who really don't have yet found their purpose there are go. easy prey That's true. for people who are. And so Paul is trying to warn everybody about commending you to the word of his grace because God is always going to be carrying you along green pastures yeah. and still waters. Isn't it amazing that that was 2,000 years ago and uh, you can see the same patterns repeating themselves right now. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why we I guess we really felt like it was important to once again talk about the character and the nature of God because, right. you know, it's just a really good reminder right. when there's so many other voices uh, speaking against God, speaking against, you know, thinking that church doesn't mean anything anymore, the gathering together of believers. Right. It's all God's plan. That's what Paul is saying. This right. is God's way of feeding right. the flock so that they aren't... Uh, like wolves, subject to wolves. Mm -hmm. What does a wolf do? He eats the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> right. He preys on the innocent. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. So uh, there's this reality of what Jesus did. The Apostle Paul is actually the one who uh, talked to us about it and brought it in into uh, focus about what Jesus did when he left heaven to come to the earth. Uh, to uh, give his life and die for us. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it's a pattern that is completely the opposite from the characteristic that you see that man uh, continually takes, emulates, and, and so forth. So Jesus is the Word in heaven. He's, at, he's God in heaven, has, you know... Uh, unbelievable glory and majesty and in, in an environment, etc. Okay, but he gives all that up so he can come to the earth here, mm -hmm. be born into the body of a babe in, in a manger mm -hmm. and then die on a cross for us and go to hell and pay the price for us. And uh, he, uh, the Apostle Paul says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. One of the biggest problems that man has is with power. Mm -hmm. And so man, you know, it's the greedy, graspy, grab, hold on to, and Jesus uh, exhibited exactly the opposite from that. Mm -hmm. See, he let go of the, of the powerful place that he had. Well, he so said, he if you want to be the greatest, serve. you need to be the servant of right. all. Right. And so that servant's heart is a giving heart. Yeah. It's looking out for others. Exactly. And so this is what he gave us. He showed us how we, we could walk in power just like him. Okay. Because that's actually what eternity is, is uh, going to be like for us. Yeah. Is we're going to be following Jesus throughout eternity. Well, this period of time has had people locked away behind closed doors. Right. And it's really set a uh, kind of a cast a, a spell over the nations of the world. Right. And now they have to be let out, set free, come out into the open and re-engage yeah. back into life again. And what better way to just come back out into the wide open than to just turn your whole life over to the Lord who's, who's good, who's loving and merciful and forgiving and a giver and let him completely give you a brand new season of life. Hallelujah. So we'll be right back with a final message.
For over 30 years, Faith Landmark's Bible Institute has expanded its accessibility to people around the world. FLBI continues to grow and reach new regions through newly acquired equipment and technology and through faithful partners overseas. On May 20th, 2021, over 70 FLBI students in Kenya graduated from first and second year. Thanks to your financial seed, Faith Landmarks Ministries through FLBI was able to equip them with the wisdom and knowledge of God's Word so that they can accurately proclaim the truth of the gospel to everyone they meet. Sowing into missions equips FLM with the ability to broaden our outreach, increase our online capabilities, expand our Bible school, and fulfill the Great Commission. Visit faithlandmarks.org or text FLMVA to 73256 to sow into missions today. It's time to wake up and go after the plan and purpose God has for you. Join Faith Landmarks Ministries this October 6th through 10th for a power-packed event. Camp Meeting 2021, Awake. Get inspired and awaken your spirit with speakers from across the nation. You will not want to miss a single meeting. Mark your calendars, set your vacation time, and come October 6th through 10th to Richmond, Virginia for this exciting five-day event. If you're looking for an extensive yet affordable Bible school education, then Faith Landmarks Bible Institute is for you. FLBI provides students with two years of comprehensive study. With our online program, you can learn anytime, anywhere. Register for our online Bible school today by visiting our website at flbi.org. Make the spiritual investment to grow in your knowledge of the kingdom here at Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. Contact TV is focused on seeing you live a victorious life in Christ. For air dates and showtimes, visit our website at contact.tv. Join us and see how to live in the abundant life Jesus has made available for you. So glad that you've been with us today. Uh, this has been an outstanding series. Uh, we talk, have been talking about the character and the nature of God. We want to encourage you to get this uh, as a download. You can get it on a podcast. Uh, you can watch the whole thing on YouTube. You, you can uh, make this a part of your life, uh, which you can, uh, which you should. And uh, so uh, one of the things that can be done with something like this is you can just simply take the scripture references and, and mull over and meditate on the scripture references. Because, you know, we said right from the beginning, we didn't uh, claim to be able to hit uh, this thing comprehensively because it's literally everything that is, is the character and the nature of God. So we pray that you'll join partners with the Lord Jesus Christ and the Father of Heaven and have a brand new season of your life. And we'll see you back next time on Con.